Hey guys, my name is Kanishka Skeiki. I'm in 8th grade and I go to Sharon Grove School. Before I go on further, can everyone hear me in the back? Yes. Yes, sir. Also, I would like to thank Sohini Chow for a wonderful introduction and speech. So today, I'm going to be talking about one of the most futuristic and unbelievable places you can travel to in this world. In fact, it's so futuristic and unbelievable that you won't believe humans can make this place. I'm going to be talking about my Dubai trip, which happened two summers ago. And about this trip, I'm going to be talking about the Burj Khalifa, the different malls, and lastly, my desert safari. But before any of that, I'm going to be giving you guys some background information. So Dubai is located in a country called the United Arab Emirates, which is on the Arabian Peninsula. Dubai is on a desert, and deserts have camels. So this leads me to my next question. What is a camel's favorite nursery rhyme? Do you, do you have any, any guesses? Baba Black Camel? <laughs> <laughs> no, the correct answer is Humpty Dumpty. Oh, uh, yes. Good. Okay, now for the Burj Khalifa. The Burj Khalifa is the most important part of Dubai, in my opinion. Does anyone know what the Burj Khalifa is? Yes. Yes. Tall building, tallest building in the world. Yeah, the man in the black tuxedo said is the tallest building in the world, and he's correct. In fact, it's 2,000. 727 feet tall. And my experience with it started on the planes. So we were about to land in Dubai, and this, was, and this was after our India trip, so I was really bored of traveling, and I just wanted to go home. But when I looked out the window, I saw this really tall, slim structure. And I do a lot of hiking, guys, and this is bigger than some of the things I've hiked. And that's saying a lot. So this got me really excited for Dubai. And the next day, I wanted to go to the Burj Khalifa. And that's what, exactly what we did. So from our hotel, it was a two-hour drive to the Burj Khalifa, and finally, we, when we got there, there was this huge line to an elevator. And after a while, it was finally our turn to get in the elevator. And we were really excited, and it just blasted in the air. It was really fast and really fun, and it took 40 seconds. It was so tall that our ears popped. And at the front, at the top of it, there was an amazing view. It was 360 glass, just the glass that's separating us from the outside, and you can see for miles and miles in the desert. Now I'm going to be talking about the two different malls I went to. So we went to two malls, one of them was the Emirates Mall, and then the last one was the Dubai Mall. The Emirates Mall was the best in my opinion because of two reasons. First of all, there was a giant aquarium in the middle of the mall, and it was really fun and cool, and we took a lot of pictures there. There were sharks and turtles and various fishes inside the aquarium. The next part that made the Emirates Mall so good was an indoor ski resort. Now, I've heard of skiing in Rhode, Rhode Island, I mean, New Hampshire, and Colorado, but skiing in the middle of a desert, that's really cool. So we actually went inside there, and we played there, and it was really fun, and my parents and I had lots of fun. And at the end of it, we had pizza, and it was time to go to our next mall. The next mall is the Dubai Mall. And it, was, it had its own unique qualities too. Could, because at the front there were lots of exotic cars. There were Lamborghinis, Porsches, and Bugattis of all different colors. They were really cool. And then also when we got inside, there was this huge golden area. It looked so shiny and futuristic. And there were shops everywhere. And there was a gold, just a specific place where they sold gold. And it was really cool. And then outside the Dubai, Dubai Mall, there was this huge fountain that played music and to the beat of the music water sprayed in the air and it was really cool. Lastly, I'm going to be talking about the final day of my Dubai trip which was the desert safari. It was really, it was the most intense and exciting part of our trip. So it was in the middle of the desert and we were driving there and it was so far into the desert that you couldn't see the Burj Khalifa anymore. And when we got there, there was this jeep that was parked in the sand dunes. And when we went inside the jeep, we met the driver, and I saw these metal things surrounding the jeep, and then I asked the driver what those metal things were. And he said, those are just in case the jeep fell over. And then I got really, really scared because the jeep could fall over. And then before we knew it, the jeep was on its way, 60 miles per hour in the dunes, and it was going up and down and up and down. And it was really scary, and it felt just like a roller coaster. 
At the end of our desert safari, we got to this really cool carnival place. There was a tent, really big tent set up in the middle, and people were dancing, and there was this guy with a bird, a falcon, and he was, he was letting people hold it and pet it, and it was really cool. And then there was also henna and sandar, and there was also camel rides. And remember that Humpty Dumpty joke, guys? I actually fell off my camel. So, that, so at the end of that day, there was food, there was Arabic food, and it was falafel and, and hummus. It was really tasty. That wrapped up our Dubai day and our Dubai trip, and I was really sad to go. I talked about Burj Khalifa, two different malls, and lastly, my desert safari. Dubai was a great trip, and I really recommend it for you guys. Thank you. Next up is Nishant Kathuru. So, Nishant Kathuru is a very kind, helpful, friendly. There's so many good adjectives to describe him. He likes to play soccer and karate, and he now, he's now adding student council and public, public speaking to the things he enjoys. Now for Nishant Kathuru.